and we get to talk about it everybody. It has oh. been this very good experience to watch some. Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. On 90 Day Fiance, David Toborowski and Annie Suan have been one of the most successful marriages to come out on the show because of their love story, which started in Annie's native Thailand, where David moved to start a fresh start on his life after facing such a hard time all alone and then met with the love of his life. So in today's video, we'll be looking at the truth about 90 Day Fiancé's David Toborowski and Annie Suong. Let's roll! How They Met David went through a lot of hardships in his life before meeting with Annie, and since then, his course of life got changed. Actually, he got divorced from his ex-wife of 21 years, lost his job and his home, and weighed over 350 pounds, and even suffered a stroke. Then, after three years, David managed to bounce back from his rough track of life and moved to Thailand to start from scratch. Annie, who was 24 then, on the other hand, grew up in a small village and used to work at a hotel in Bangkok and sing in a band to meet her ends when David met her. 48-year-old divorcee David happened to be at the same bar where Annie was performing, and they clicked as love at first sight kind of thing. David shared that he heard Annie singing and she had a voice of an angel. He offered to buy her a drink, and they started talking and went out. And that's how their love story began. Love at first sight. After meeting with each other, things went pretty quickly, and it only took 10 days for them to know that they're meant for each other. On the very first date, when the couple went shopping at the Thai Cambodia market, that was the moment when both sealed the deal. Over there, Annie started purchasing items for her family instead of for herself. And that was the moment David shared what he felt. What a genuine heart she has! As she was buying stuff for her little brothers, her mom, and for her dad. So after dating for a week or two, he proposed to Annie. And of course, she said yes! In order to bring Annie to the United States, David then had to apply for the K-1, or the fiancé visa. The law demanded that once she was stateside, Annie had 90 days in which to marry David. However, it only took some days for David to fall in love with Annie and managed to prove that he's worthy of her love on a daily basis. Spin-off shows As we know that 90 Day Fiancé has countless spin-off shows, people who are rooting for David and Annie, they're lucky to be able to know that this couple is in many of these sister shows. David and Annie are so real with their fans that they literally bring their fans into their home on 90 Day Fiancé Pillow Talk. Well, in that series, the alums of 90 Day Fiancé express their opinions on the current stars of the show. Not just that, but David and Annie start in yet another spin-off, 90 Day Fiancé Self-Quarantined, during the COVID-19 pandemic. They showed how they managed to make time for their romance, to go through the lockdown, shopping for groceries, and so on. Barriers between all the love and marriage, there came a host of issues as well, but David expressed that it had not been easy, but it's getting better. Among all the hurdles David had to face was that in Thai tradition, the groom has to present his future bride's parents with a hefty dowry. But David wasn't certain he'd be able to provide the $25,000 because of his financial woes. He shared with the crew, quote, I'm extremely stressed and worried because the mounting costs of marrying a Thai woman are beyond my expectations, and I'm running short. By the way, another contention between them was David's alcohol use, which was apparent at their joint bachelor-bachelorette party in Thailand and in America. David told Parade, quote, But that's the place I was at. In a sense, I'm glad now to share that, that you can be in a bad place and get better. Side Hustle Annie and David set themselves apart as fan favorites because of their friendly personalities and loving natures, which literally helped to pad their bank accounts with multiple side hustles. Even David and Annie can be found on Cameo, where they craft personalized videos for fans and have earned the rank of being one of the 10 highest earners on the website. On Cameo, they're so popular and recorded 30,200 personalized messages by March 2021, charging $57 per shoutout. And through this outlet, they made over $185,000. David and Annie even launched a cooking show, Spice It Up with David and Annie, during the COVID-19 pandemic, highlighting the cuisine from Annie's native Thailand. 
On the show, the couple cooks up classics like egg fried rice and spring rolls while exchanging fun and flirty banter. Relationship Advice It seems that Annie and David know the keys to a lasting reality show union, as they have struggled a lot and now they've proved that they are an inseparable pair, because they've proved that if there's true love present in a marriage, all will work out in the end. In fact, the viewers of the show know that the progression behind their marriage on the 90-day spinoffs is all because they are extremely genuine people who genuinely love each other. Annie even expressed to Entertainment Tonight, quote, You know, honestly, we're just ourselves, no matter camera on or camera off, but it will be just our lifestyle. What you see is what you get when you meet us. According to the fans, another reason why the couple made their name in the list of reality show history as a successful story is because, despite all the hard times they faced, they've stayed committed to one another. The other reason, which bolsters Annie and David's happy marriage, is their lovey-dovey and flirty Instagram posts, which includes Annie giving a Thai massage to her hubby every day and David bringing his wife coffee every morning. David stressed another part of the recipe for a healthy relationship in an interview with Parade by saying, quote, Happy wife, happy life. Positivity Among all the fans and lovers, the couple understands that they have haters too, as part of their lives as reality stars include dealing with trolls on social media. So, there were times when the insults get personal, especially during David and Annie's time on 90 Day Fiancé self-quarantined. The couple shared that they experienced hatred as Annie received anti-Asian messages during the COVID-19 pandemic. However, people feel the need to make anti-immigrant comments to Annie, but she knew that she has the full support of her husband and her loving fans to get through it. Annie even shared during an interview that, quote, Thank God a lot of people just back me up in a lot of stuff I have on social media. That's helped a lot. Reunion the big part of David and Annie's season was David's familial strife. Well, when they got engaged, David's daughter Ashley understandably had her doubts about their relationship, as her father was with a woman younger than she was. There was a scene that viewers will never forget when Ashley throws a glass of water in her dad's face after he brought Annie home to Kentucky. She said, quote, Your relationship is irrelevant to us, to which David replied, then leave. That was the moment when things got heated between father and daughter. But now, everything is sorted between Annie and Ashley as they've overcome their differences and have a happy, blended family. By the way, in an interview with Access, Annie shared that she understands where Ashley was coming from when they first met. When I look back in the days when she first met me, I'm younger than her. She doesn't know who I am. She doesn't know what intention I have with her father. Want children? The couple often gets asked, since they've been married for years now, that whether they'll be having children. Once David, in an interview with US Weekly, opened and expressed that he'd had a vasectomy, so it's impossible for him to have children unless he gets it reversed. On the other hand, Annie also expressed her take on this and told US Weekly, quote, We don't need children to make our love stronger. It would be awesome if we had, but right now, that's not going to be a serious conversation. Cultural Roadblocks In order to make the relationship work, it was necessary that both Annie and David had to experience culture shock while living together. When they both married, Annie left her family to be with David, and according to them, the most difficult scene of their journey on the show to watch is when Annie says goodbye to her family. David also fulfilled his commitment to Annie as he presented wedding gifts to Annie's family with a dowry and bought a water buffalo for them as he took a crash course in Thai tradition. After a year of their marriage, David posted a picture of baby water buffalo on Instagram with the caption, quote, I guess this is the interest payment on my dowry. David also shared on E! News, quote, the blending of culture, that's really what I think helps in a relationship. And you kind of learn is half the fun of being a blended family and exploring each other's cultures and opening up your mind. This couple literally makes time from their busy TV schedule to enjoy their honeymoon over and over again. Being married in November 2017, they took many trips and considered them extensions of their first honeymoon. Even their Instagram profiles are filled with beautiful pictures of them on luxurious vacations in exotic locations, such as Cancun, Mexico, Zanzibar, Tanzania, and of course, Annie's native Thailand. Not just that, they even have a YouTube channel 
David and Annie's travels as they love adventures, which include trips in the States, such as to the Grand Canyon and far off lands like Bali. David shared with Parade, that's one of our passions. I've been to 64 countries. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching the video. And if you guys found it interesting, I would much appreciate it if you comment down below about the video and leave a thumbs up. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for getting updates related to our latest videos.